What's good, Tarot Tribe? It's the Priest, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. Today, we're going to be looking at ancestral messages, but specifically about your healing journey. So a lot of you guys are going to find clarity and insight in this reading as far as what you could be healing, even in a generational way. So I'm really excited to get into today's reading. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the Tarot Tribe. I'm going to be getting some more videos up, and I'm just excited to see all of you guys all around the world who are connecting um, through tarot and through spirituality and enlightenment. Also, if you have not already, follow my Instagram page and my TikTok, The Tarot Priest, spelled exactly the same way as the channel, because I'm going to be posting a lot more content there. If you guys are not already following me there, don't forget to follow me. All right. Yeah, I'm excited to get into today's reading. We have four different decks that you can choose from. We have deck number one, deck number two, deck three, and deck four. Remember, you can always jump down below to see your timestamp and go right to your deck. Also, getting ready to post some more vlog, behind the scene content, and bonus scenes that you guys are not gonna find here on, on, on YouTube on my Patreon. So if you guys are not already a part of my Patreon, you can find that down below. We have the Awake Planet. I'm gonna be going on tour, just meeting you guys in person, doing some in-person readings for a series that I'm gonna be documenting. So I'm excited to do the behind the scenes of that. So if you guys are looking to be a part of the journey and this new wave and new era into tarot and spirituality and enlightenment, but true spirituality and enlightenment, you can follow my Patreon. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, here at the Tarot Priest, all right? I have a lot of big announcements. I'm doing a lot of things. I'm evolving as a person. I'm ascending. So there's a lot of great surprises that I have in store for you guys. So you definitely don't want to miss. Subscribe if you can. Become a part of the Tarot Tribe. All right. So healing messages from your ancestors. All right. We have four different decks you guys can choose from. Let's get into this reading and see what your ancestors want you to know about your healing journey. All right. If you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading in messages from your ancestors about your healing journey. So the overall theme from your ancestors and what they want you to know is in God's hands, okay? So already I'm feeling very strongly that you are learning how to trust in something other than yourself. So I really do feel like your ancestors are bringing in a lot of ease and comfort into your life as far as getting you to just trust that you're not doing this alone, that you are co-creating. It says my trust in life is implicit. God's greater knowing and greatest love guide my heart and my choices. My faith is steady and I remain true to my light. Everything else unfolds according to God's will. So spirit, your ancestors want you to connect with God and really get closer to this essence and this presence of the universe. This is going to bring you immediate peace and healing in your life, understanding that you are not the only doing the healing. Uh, the universe, God, spirit, whatever you believe, your ancestors are telling you that you are healed. I'm hearing this very clearly. I don't know why they're just jumping into it, but they're just saying that you are healed. I don't know who needs to hear that message um, in God's hands, uh, your health, your life, understanding that God is playing a part in that. And we're going to get some more information. We have one step at a time. We have lots of red. Okay. And I'm really, really getting root base chakra healing. So your ancestors are sending me to this aura and in this aura it is a foundation a steady foundation all right they're they're showing me firm founded beliefs okay getting back to your beliefs it's interesting that they're giving me the base chakra because somehow it's it's bringing me right to the crown chakra and i feel like that's why this is here it's like the beginning is the end and the end is the beginning, meaning the base is the first chakra, right? Everything is grounded and founded on that. Your relationships, um, your security. I mean, it's the bare minimum of just the base, the foundation, the structure, right? And then at the very top, we have the crown chakra. So this is telling me that there is to be a balance within both and whatever whatever cracks are in your foundation can affect the entire chakra line if that makes sense okay so getting back to the to your foundation is very important one step at a time i see the mountain ahead and dedicate myself to taking one small step at a time so understanding that progress is progress it doesn't matter how fast you're doing it um you have plenty of time is what i'm hearing i make progress by staying focused on the present moment the current task 
Thus, I regain my ease of living. So there's that word again is ease. When you feel at peace, you are being connected with source is what your ancestors are saying. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, we have the seven of swords. Yeah, so your foundation, your relationships are changing. You are breaking generational things in your family. You are breaking uh, generational things when it comes to following what everyone else says or does. You're learning how to trust your own discernment to make decisions, even about your relationships. Okay, seven of swords here. This is betrayal. I want to clarify why this is here. Why is the seven of swords here for healing messages? Thank you. Ace of water. Okay. So your ancestors are saying that there is a new beginning in your relationships. Okay. Um, with the ace of water, this is a fresh new perspective on relationships, friendships, family, all of this makes a difference. Okay. That's why they're bringing me to the root chakra. Also, we have a lot of sacral chakra here. We have the orange and the red and the yellow. So this is the solar plexus chakra also is getting to know who you truly are. Okay. The people around you should be mirroring the greatest version of you. So your ancestors are trying to lead you into new relationships. All right. We have strength. So you could be a Leo. You don't have to be. All right. So we have strength. So yeah, many of you could even be the first in your family. This, this could be for some of you first in your family to do something. It could even be to get into tarot, to question certain things, to go a different direction. So it has, you have been given strength from your ancestors. It's a specific strength for you to be able to accomplish whatever it is that you need to accomplish in this life. All right. We also have the emperor. So we have father energy here. Again, I am picking up family energy. We're picking up um, learning the truth of true masculine and feminine energy. All right. I see that you guys will be bringing a lot of truths. Your destiny. Yeah, absolutely. So I asked where your destiny is leading you based on what your ancestors are saying. And they say you are a golden child. You are one of the golden children. Okay. You are someone who has a rare gift and rare gifts. Yes, I'm talking to you. All right. Many people around you could even see this in you, all of these gifts, and, and you're learning to have discernment, again, with your relationships. I want to confirm. Seven of Swords for deck one. Thank you. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You are headed towards fulfillment in your relationships, Okay, friendships, finding people, like-minded people, your soul tribe. There are others just like you. Um, you're trusting that your ancestors want you to trust in God more. Okay. Trust in God more in a deeper, in a deeper way. And and how that happens is when you go through certain things, you could be a Scorpio, you don't have to be. When you go through certain things in your life, it creates and builds strength. So many of the things that you've experienced is what helped you build the strength, is what your ancestors are saying. Um, also with the emperor card here, I see that you are learning that you are in authority over your life more than, you know, your ancestors want you to know that this is about fulfillment, finding yourself, getting back to who you truly are, not who people said you were. That's why it's important that whoever's around you is reflecting your true self, because if they are not, you will be confused in your identity as far as who you are. Okay. We have the ace of wands and we also have the four of wands. So I'm, I'm seeing that your ancestors are healing and bringing healing to your, your relationships, your heart, unity, harmony, bringing harmony and unison back into your life. Um, it's taking you to have a fresh perspective of your emotions in order to do this. What is it that you're healing? Thank you. The higher font. Okay. You could be a Taurus. You don't have to be, but Taurus energy is here. Okay. Something else 
that I see that you are healing is the way you see money. Okay. A lot of these things that you're healing deck number one is definitely generational. Meaning if a generation for so long has grew up to become a police officer or something because my dad's dad's dad did this. You may be the barrier that breaks this stereotype. You may be the one who goes a different direction. Okay. Your beliefs are going to be challenged. You're healing your mind, your beliefs, your spiritual beliefs, getting clear clarity from your base chakra all the way up to your crown chakra. That's why they keep showing me this balance in your chakras of healing. And it's starting with your beliefs. Okay, with the higher font, let's get some clarity on beliefs. Your beliefs around money specifically came out, okay? Uh, you are meant to heal your finances, even in your family. You are meant to go a different route to find fulfillment and financial security, okay? You're healing worry and lack in your family. So a lot of the things that you will go against, you will be the first to do that, or uh, it will feel like, it's almost like you are emerging out of this reality of what other people said existed and you're, you're reaching for more healing. What are they healing? Thank you. Emperor. Okay. Father. Why does dad keep coming up? Let's get some clarity on why the emperor keeps coming here. You could be an Aries. Okay. That's another sign that I'm getting. What are they healing? Deck one. Thank you. What are they healing? Deck one. Thank you. Okay. Contemplation, reflection. So yeah, this reflection that is coming in, all right, is based on a lot of the things that you experienced as a child. I see that you're healing many of those things. Okay. So you're contemplating look ahead. So you're coming up as a visionary. All right. Your life, your ancestors are saying your life was meant to be of harmony in your relationships, in your friendships with your finances. This is really the theme here that I'm picking up for you guys. Letting go impermanence, farewell release. Okay. So your ancestors want you to release what brings you trouble, concern, what brings you discomfort to release that and trust that it's in God's hand and trust that you have the faith in being true to who you are, not changing it for the people around you. See, once again, you, you, you have this light, you get around people, you got to stay the same. Okay. So this is a lot about your identity, who you are. You have rare gifts. Okay. We have community. Yes. Your tribe. So your ancestors are in the process of connecting you with your tribe. So if you guys are here, um, a lot of these reflections are because your ancestors want you to get in alignment so that you can attract and receive. See, that's the thing. Sometimes we're not even in a place to receive the blessings that we're asking for because we're um, prohibiting ourselves essentially because of the things that have happened that we're holding on to that maybe we tried to control. Maybe we tried to change. Okay. This is actually out of your hands. Everything that has been happening is out of your hands. All you can do is detach and let go is what I'm hearing. Distance, divide, separation, and discord. Yes. Community. Okay. You are separating yourself to connect with yourself. So whoever you've been around, people are changing. Things are changing here. And your, your, your ancestors are here to let, to tell you that it is time to let those things go. Now let's see what those things could be. Letting go deck one. Thank you. The game master. One thing I'm seeing is letting go of your plan. And I know this is tough because even myself, I had so many plans as a Capricorn. I'm like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. And it's like, why do anything when we're co conspiring, we are co-creating. But then I had to realize that I am co-creating and everything has its timing. And so I kept creating these strategies for myself. And I see that spirit is saying to let go of the strategy and just learn how to explore and experience and connect and feel. Okay. Is what I'm sensing. So your ancestors definitely want you to heal some of the things that have happened in the past. 
some of those beliefs about yourself that are not true, limiting beliefs that you have adopted that are not true about yourself. You are the light. You're coming up as the light. Okay. So this is a, a, a time of reflection and contemplating. All right. Is there anything else that needs to be healed? Okay. Anything else that needs to be healed? We'll take the top. Seeing differently. Okay. Okay. Changing your perspective, seeing differently. There's something about community. Again, your spirit guides are bringing you to uh, people in this world that have a lot in common with who you are. So this, is, this again would be your soul tribe. So I also asked your ancestors ways that you could practically heal some of these things that you're going through. Okay, you're, you're, you are healing through love is what I'm hearing. You are, hear you are healing through contemplation. You are healing through reflection, all right? And I also sense patience is required with yourself. So practical ways that you can heal, we had movement. So moving your body and feeling good in your physical body is very important. Also, your, your ancestors are saying is your body, right? Not, take it, not to take it for granted. It, it allows you to be present here on earth. Um, and that's what this is all about. The spirit seeing this planet called earth, right? And they're like, well, you got to be a physical body to go down to earth. And they're like, okay. And God creates a, this, these human bodies right in the, in the womb. And now you have an entire vehicle that allows you to experience things here on earth, the five senses, right? So if we take that, I'm hearing not to take that for granted, not to take your body for granted, move it, use it. All right. It's meant to be used. All right. I let go burning bowl ritual. It's time to release. And if you're afraid to release, or if there's fear to release, your ancestors are saying, then you are holding on. Fear to release is still something that you're holding on to. And how do you let go? You just do. Okay. Someone, I think asked me that one time. They're like, how do you let go? And it's like, okay, let me think about it. You open up and you let go. You know, you just, you just do, you just let it go. And sometimes we, when we ask how to let it go, it's still us trying to control the situation. So that is something spirit is saying, get ready for your new beginning. You have asked and you are getting to getting ready to receive. Please make room for these new things. Your ancestors are saying, clear out what needs to be clear. Whatever has happened has happened in the past. Focusing on the present moment is where the magic is at. So burning roll ritual is what your spirit wants you to do as well as just writing certain things on a paper that you feel like are heavy. Okay. When you just kind of tune in and ask yourself what feels like a burden, what feels like a lot, what feels uncertain. And those uncertain things don't have to go completely, but they could just go on the back burner until you have clarity. So I'm hearing not to make decisions before you have clarity. You have a gift. So use it. And the third thing you can do to heal is build strength. Okay, so this is again physical body and third eye is what I'm sensing. So building strength in your third eye, building strength, uh, in, intuitive strength, okay? Because we have logical strength where we can think and we can strategize and analyze, but your ancestors are really wanting you to connect with your third eye and that spiritual connection that you have with you and the divine, okay? And I'm seeing that you, your physical, your mental, spiritual, this is three things. This is all in one that I'm seeing you having the balance with. So there is a little bit of a distance, but it's for the purpose of bringing in the right harmony and balance into your life. So if you guys chose deck number one, these are your healing messages from your ancestors. They really, really, really want you to, to connect and understand that when you truly connect with God and source, you should have no worry. You should have no fear. There should be no doubt. So either you're connected or you're out of alignment. And the good part about being in alignment, again, is just being aligned with good in God is just that you don't have to stress, struggle, worry. You don't have to be in pain. You don't have to be in turmoil. So you're learning also the benefits of that. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, don't forget to comment down below, subscribe to the channel, like the video, follow me where you can. I'm moving on to deck number two. What's good, number two? This is your reading in messages from your ancestors regarding your healing. So your overall theme that I asked your ancestors, exactly what do you want deck two to know about this healing journey that they're on? Wisdom, okay? They want you to know that God has a plan for you, that you are to hear, 
that you are to live here and now knowing beauty is to come to not force things to happen faster than the universe has decided. So trust the timing. Okay. Some things you might look back on and say, thank God that didn't happen or thank God I didn't get approved or thank God that didn't <laughs> you we don't know really until that happens. And that's the thing is when you're connecting with divine infinite wisdom, which is the universe. Okay. We have universe spirit, God, whatever you choose to believe. There's so many things nowadays, but we have spirit. Okay. And that's actually what's inside that is giving us life. Okay. Once it leaves the body kind of just decomposes. So there's something inside of this human body that's allowing us to live, right? This is our spirit. This is our spirit. It's life. It's the essence. It's like the breath of the universe. Okay. That is also in us and infinite wisdom. So if we are that and the universe, then that also means that we have access. That is the word that they're giving me access to infinite wisdom. Okay. So sometimes I just know because spirit knows I didn't even read a book. I didn't go to a class. I didn't do any of that, but I just know because spirit dropped it into my spirit. And so that is what is so important is to understand that you are connected to the most highest source of energy. Okay. That has given life to billions of people, probably trillions at this point. So this is, I'm definitely seeing going, your ancestors want you to connect furthermore with that knowledge of self. Okay. Lots of solar plexus chakra that I'm getting. And then we also have the blue. So we'll see if the throat chakra comes out more. So we have also learn from your experiences and take small steps into faith and succeed. So take your steps based on where your faith is and be honest with yourself. And I'm telling you guys, this is like a, this is the secret sauce right here. This is the secret to many, many, many things that you are going to learn is to be honest with yourself and where your faith is and take leaps based on your faith. And if you want to take a big leap to expand it, you only know when you're ready. Okay. Yeah. I figured the solar plexus chakra for sure. Okay. So we have freedom. I realize my wounds create doubt, resentment, and guilt. So I work to free myself of darkness. I cast off negative thoughts, find peace in your heart and discover the being of light within me. So deck two, your ancestors are helping you heal through wisdom and freedom. The wisdom to do what? Not force things, to trust that things happen in your timing. Okay, these are all the keys for you. All right, learn from your experiments and experiences and take small steps in faith and succeed. Okay. Giving you the wisdom. So your ancestors constantly giving you wisdom on which way to go. You just have to trust that, that inner direction that you're getting from your ancestors. Okay. Now, another thing is your ancestors are saying that in order to heal, you must become free from these wounds, not to carry these wounds with you anymore. Um, so you're working to free yourself from darkness and your pathway that I asked where you're going and heading towards is inner earth. So you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. So I do believe that your ancestors want you to open up to connect with this higher self of that you have within you, this higher intelligence that you have within you so that you can use it as a compass to navigate here on earth. Okay. Let's see what the tarot says. We have chariot cancer energy. So you are moving forward. It's interesting because she's on a snail. It's like, you might even want to know, am I progressing? Are things moving forward? Do, do you feel like you're in quicksand? Things are slowly happening. Okay. With the snail here with the chariot. We also have the wheel of fortune. Things are slowly happening in your favor with the wheel of fortune in the upright. All right. So I'm definitely sensing that there's going to be a new beginning for you deck two. And I believe that you have healed yourself of something that has brought you great despair. All right. Let's see what that's about. This healing for deck two. Thank you. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. 
passion. Yeah. So you have undergone some type of healing. You have freed yourself from something. Um, and you are actually even in the process of freeing yourself from something deep in your heart. You already know the answer. Do what feels right. You're, you're learning to trust that inner guidance, trust that self. This is what's going to help you heal some of these wounds that you've been carrying. Okay. All right. Any healing blockages, acknowledgement, seeing knowing and accepting okay so your ancestors spirit guides are going to bring to you an acknowledgement of things that should be healed okay how do you heal just release think of it as a splinter okay you have a splinter in your spirit i call them sp spiritual splinters and how do you know because it hurts if someone says something and it hurts you it triggers you that's them touching that thorn okay First, we have to do what? We have to acknowledge that we have a spiritual thorn. That hurt when this happened. That hurt when they said no. That hurt with this. This makes me, you know, whatever that feeling is, you first must acknowledge the discomfort is the word they're bringing me. The dis-ease of it. The discomfort of it. Seeing it. Oh my goodness. There's a thorn here. I shouldn't feel this way. Okay? We were meant to feel good. We were meant to feel good, which is feeling God. So... If we feel bad, then that means there's a splinter or we had stepped on a splinter. So we first see, we know it, but in order to remove it, we must accept it. We must accept that, okay, I have been doing this or I have been doing that. So acceptance is also just being honest with yourself because this is going to give you what you're desiring. Okay. And let's just see what that is. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Thank you. Wealth. So these wounds are affecting your money. And sometimes we don't realize that because money and value carry the same weight. That's actually with money is actually going to be starting to become less valuable. The paper money because of everything that's going digital. So who determines value, right? We do, the populace do, or the population does. So... I am definitely sensing that there are some blockages in your finances. You have this, this desire to be free, even financially, to be able to do what you want to do, explore, um, and, and just experience this life. That's what actually would make you feel really good. Even going to the ocean, the Maldives, Fiji, just visiting different places, seeing different places, islands with water, just being able to explore. Somehow you believe that's tied to your finances, which we understand that as it's a resource. Okay. So how does this go with the wounds and the healing? Well, what's most important is that you heal the thoughts that you have around wealth, the beliefs that you have around wealth so that you can be free. Okay. So I'm sensing that you're healing, um, how you feel about yourself and the value you bring so that you can then produce more value, more money. So the more valuable you believe you are, the more you will attract. That's also why we have the yellow chakra here, which is all about the solar plexus chakra, knowing yourself, knowing thyself, okay? Knowledge of oneself. And also the orange right under it, which is creative energy, okay? So we have wealth and we have swiftness. So there has been a holdup, I'm, I'm definitely sensing, because the wounds kind of act like holes, even in your pocket. Okay. So it's all related. It's all connected. And the sooner you understand that, the easier it will be for you. We have decision, choice, opportunity, and selection. So when you make a decision, each decision you choose, a reality changes. It reminds me of the Black Mirror movie where you have to actually, the audience gets to select the actual choice they make. And it's a whole different movie, right? It's the same thing with you. Just one, cho you're one choice away from wealth. Okay. So there's no rush here, right? It's just really focusing on which is the best key, which is the best choice. So we have decision. Let's see if there's any other messages when it comes to what you're healing that your ancestors want you to know and how you're healing this. Okay. Release celebration. Okay. You're getting ready to celebrate. There's, there's no need to hold on to anything that no longer brings you, um, freedom, freedom. Okay. That's something that's big here. Release, letting go, freedom and healing. Okay. 
So you are definitely here. And I know that even when I started my journey, what excited me was freedom. So you are to be free from the past. That's something that you're healing. Um, you're releasing things that have been done to you. Um, even as a child, all of that stuff, you're coming to like this clean, fresh, new place in your life. And that's what's creating this celebration of just bliss, joy, and delight. There's actually all of what you've experienced as far as the bad, the rock bottom, there's no more. You will never have to go through that again, okay? You'll never have to go through those things that you've experienced that were tumultuous in your life again is what I'm hearing spirit is saying, okay? Now you just have to make amends with that and trust that. And anything that brings you to the past, anything that brings you back to the past, thinking about it, write it down and, and work with that. Because what this is doing, again, it's affecting how you feel. When we feel good, we attract good. We, we attract good, good is God, God is good, money is good, happiness is good, family is good, love is good, okay, peace is good. So releasing these wounds, how can they release these wounds? Protection, warrior, safety, acts of kindness. So trusting that you are protected. Again, those things will never have to happen to you. You now have the discernment you need in order to see that behavior in certain people or whatever the case may be that this isn't the job for you this isn't for you whatever that may be you now have that protective eye and spirit it reminds me of when we talked about this protection power it's you can find that in my description down below in the spiritual soul kit just having awareness of danger right just feeling something is off is power and that's actually how we protect ourselves. We remain closest that we can to spirit. So your, your guides want you to know that you're protected. Your ancestors want you to know that you're protected. And you can definitely release to create a sanctuary, I'm hearing, for just yourself. And it, that's also very important. Now, I asked your guides and your ancestors healing messages in just practical ways how you can heal. We have sound healing. So music could be really big to you. Um, healing is big. You actually are a healer if you're here. Okay. You are definitely a healer. Let's get some more information on that. Oh, dang. I can't make this up. Look at the bottom of this deck. Deep cellular healing, artic physical and emotional healing, Ar Arcturus energy, Arcturus energy. So that's a star seed. That's a specific type of star seed. And I believe I resonate a lot with the Arcturus as well. I didn't realize um, I was healing either until I, again, discovering more of yourself in depth, but anyways, deep cellular healing. The reason being is because your guides, your ancestors want you to surrender to joy. Okay. Make love to life. It's time to be pleased. All right. Pleasure is very big. It's coming up here for you. Pleasure, sound healing, music, how you feel is so important to you. I feel like you're an empath. That's why you're a healer. So really it's not about what you think. Honestly, you can release your entire mental intellect and allow your emotional intelligence to guide you, just how you feel, and that will get you to the right places and get you to the right knowledge because you're an empath and I definitely sense that you're a healer. All right, messages, the void, stop, embrace winter, great cosmic wound. So yeah, this, I definitely feel like you released a lot of this in, in the winter time or could have, or winter could be very important to you coming up surrender to the sweetness all right we're just going to take this empathic star seed at the bottom of the deck so yeah that's confirmation energetic sovereignty understanding you once you realize you're in control of how you feel it really does hold us accountable okay and it says you have sovereignty of energy but what your ancestors want you to know is that you cannot just be out here observing everybody's shit basically you can't just be out here observing it because it's not yours Okay. Sometimes when we feel bad for other people, it brings us into that low vibration, but how can we help them get high if we are going low with them? So you are learning energetic sovereignty. You're learning who you can be around energetically, other ways that you can heal practically music. I didn't even see these cards. I did not see these cards and I'm just excited because it's making sense. So you could be a musician. You could be a writer, express yourself deck two. 
put this into a song, put it into poetry. Um, this is also how you're releasing some of these wounds here is that you are releasing it through sound and music and words and just feeling you're an empath. So you could just feel the song and just release it. Okay. Some of you guys can literally shuffle through your music and just say, okay, ancestors, what message do you have for me? Shuffle a song and see what song they give you. Okay. You're connected. All right. You are, you are divinely connected is what I'm getting deck to. Okay. We have music and dance. Okay. Yeah. Definitely musicians, dancers, music. Again, anything that makes you feel good is going to help you, um, attract good period. And we know that God is good. Good is God. So everything of God, you will attract good when you're feeling good. All right. You'll be able to create good things and attract wealth because wealth is good and love is good and peace is good. All right. So new solutions, new solutions are coming to you and whatever it is that you went through this hardship, I see that you're either getting out of it or you just, you just got out of it or you're getting out of it. Okay. If you're here and I want to say, congratulations, you've come very far. Um, your ancestors are very proud of you. It has taken you a lot to overcome some of these things that you've been through and your ancestors acknowledge that. And if you feel that deeply in your spirit, just know that that is the communication and it is truly real. So be open to that. I'm going to leave you guys right there. All right. And I just want to encourage you to constantly, you know, just focusing on feeling good and, and also just bringing in that good vibration so that you can attract good and connecting more with your spirit. Okay. More with the spiritual realm so that you can have knowledge. So yeah, I do believe you have insight. The owl is here. You have wisdom. You have a clear cognizant gift. You are very gifted if you are here. Okay. Now it's about embracing these gifts. All right. I'm hoping that that brought you guys some love and light. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment down below, follow me on Instagram. Let's connect. Moving on to deck three. What's good? Deck number three. All right. If you guys are here, let's get into these ancestral messages regarding your healing. So I asked your guides specifically for this deck. If you chose this, which message do they have for you? So the first question was the overall energy and theme of your healing. Okay. They want you to have courage. All right. So I love it. So we have a lot of this, the orange and red coming through here with the colors the orange and red. So have the courage to create, have the courage to create and share, have the courage. You are stronger than any fear. You are bigger than any doubt. Your ancestors want you to know that you are the light and that, and that you will remain the light. Your guides want you to trust in God and stand tall before the tests of life. Okay. So you might have to step up when everyone's sitting down to stand for what you believe in, which is the light, the truth. Light is truth, love, peace. Okay. So your ancestors are saying that you're growing and you're becoming wiser through every challenge and that you are being of new life. Okay. So you are constantly being renewed here. There are different layers and chapters of your story that you're going through that your ancestors want you to know. They also want you to know that you're going through a transformation. So what you've been feeling, all of this ruckus and madness is a transformation. Your spirit, it's crazy that they said you're constantly evolving because that's kind of what I'm seeing here. So they want you to know that you're constantly evolving and that you're improving inwards towards working on your weaknesses and refining your strengths. So life ensures you that you're presented with a situation that will help you learn and grow. So if it's a difficult situation, the benefit is that it's helping us grow. But what I like to say is every challenge we go through, there's a key in that challenge. And sometimes that, that learned lesson, that key is what we'll need for level 23 later in life. I learned ever since I remember this one time I went and got a bagel, right? And it was a cinnamon bagel. It was one of my favorites from a bagel shop. And then they put the, the strawberry cream cheese on top. I didn't watch them. I got back and I opened up my bagel and they barely put any on there. Right. And I remember Steve, he was like, you know, one thing you're going to learn in life is that you get what you pay for. So, you know, what are you going to do about that? 
and I walked back and I just basically said, hey, like, you know, whatever, da, 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 da. But that action was showing that I'm going to get what I deserve. I'm going to go back and it taught me to speak up for what I want or speak up for something that someone might have missed or speak up for the injustice, okay, of a certain situation. So it's basically saying that life ensures you that all of these situations that you're going through are actually just helping you. So you are aware of your progress and open your wings to the light. So something else that I'm seeing here too is on the bottom of this deck, forgiveness is really sticking out to me, okay? No messages by coincidence. If I see it in this moment, I know it's meant for you to see. So it says, stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. Okay. And if you, this is what I'm saying that your ancestors are saying, if you constantly create through what you're thinking, what are you thinking about most of the time? That's very important. And if you're thinking about the past, past events will happen again in your peripheral. And you'll, you'll say, see, I knew that was going to happen. It's like, mm, but you're on a loop here. You're on a loop here. Do you want that to happen? Okay. So forfeiting being right over trusting. That's something that I'm hearing too for you, deck three is whatever you're thinking about, dreaming about and imagining, if you're imagining or thinking about something going wrong, and sometimes this is subconscious, we don't realize that we're like, oh my gosh, they're gonna do this, or I forgot this, or I'm gonna do this, and the next thing you know, you forget it. Yes, because you're constantly thinking about what you don't want. Your ancestors are working with you through a transformation to get rid of the old way you used to think of things. You're having a new, reformed, renewed, state of eyes they're trying to give you okay a new way of seeing things a new way of believing things let's see what path you're headed towards deck three i'm sorry yeah so forgiving yourself about things that have happened in the past it says writing past wrongs so thinking about what you could have done differently all of that stuff is a waste of time you are here now and even now is a new moment to live even right now is a new moment to live. Every single choice shapes a different reality. Okay. So this is something that I'm definitely seeing, forgiving yourself for some of the decisions you've made, forgiving yourself for taking too long. Sometimes we're hard on ourselves. We're like, Oh, I should have got that sooner. Should have done this sooner. Just, you know, really beating ourselves up about some of these things in the past. All right. What this does is it creates defensiveness because it's a loop and a program that we have that is just, we haven't yet deleted from our existence and it's running and operating in relationships. I want to pull another card for you guys, healing wise. Deck three healing messages from their ancestors. They're here. They need to hear a message. Whoever's seen this really needs a message of healing. Can you go ahead and give us one card message of healing? message of healing thank you we'll take that yellow green okay green is all about the heart chakra all right so if you are here i do feel like your ancestors are saying that the light the yellow and the green are really big as far as just getting it into your field more could be a candle um will help you with this healing Again, with the heart chakra, this is, again, things that have happened in the past, all right? Our heart chakra could be blocked by many things, not wanting to get hurt again. Um, you know, we have rock bottom, been, going through rock bottom, being afraid to go through rock bottom again, or maybe having to go through that, all right? Surrendering to some of these things. It says, your ancestors want you to see the beauty in yourself. They want you to see that you've grown and developed an inner self with harmony, light, and beauty. So throughout everything you've been through, you, your ancestors are only seeing the good in you. That's something that's very, very big here. You're freeing yourself from negativity and your heart is transforming. So I'm not surprised that the heart is here. Okay. That's the green. You're freeing yourself from negativity. Your heart is transforming. 
you're forgiving yourself for decisions you've made and you're looking forward. Your ancestors are saying that your intellect shines and your inner light grows. Let's see what you're going through. Especially trusting that the universe will put things on delay if we're on a pattern and the universe knows that if we stay on this pattern and even if we get what we want, we could mess it up. Many things can happen. We were, we're not ready. So this is about trusting and timing. So nine of wands um, is in reverse. Let's just get what else we have here. We have Pisces energy, the moon. So there are things being revealed to you. We have the emperor. We have the nine of pentacles in reverse. We have the seven of wands. Okay. <clears throat> self-acceptance is really big. I'm picking up a lot of self-acceptance that's required for you. Loving on yourself, loving, loving you, accepting yourself. Deck three. A new world okay hidden secrets look a little deeper and keep holding this vision that you have let's go ahead and confirm what is the moon card here for for deck three thank you work okay something is being revealed here in your career something's gonna be revealed here you're transforming who you're becoming you may change careers um, this has to do with your passions and desires and, and focusing on on your true passions and not what's going to make you a lot of money or what will make you a lot of money. That should not be the focus. The focus should be what do I really enjoy doing that I can share with the world and others will find it valuable and want to give to you abundantly. So you, there are more things that you're discovering when it comes to career and understanding success uh, financially being financially independent is something I'm seeing as well here and ancestors what are they working to heal forgiveness okay forgiveness also I'm, I'm I'm definitely sensing not being afraid to be yourself not being afraid to speak up okay um there's a message inside of you I believe that you're your ancestors are going to give you after this transformation you could have already received it so the moon we have some support coming in here financially with the career we have completion here okay and we have the tower here in reverse so you could be a scorpio you don't have to be there's heavy scorpio vibes here for sure because i have two cards now that validate scorpio energy um and let's go ahead and clarify why the emperor is here one card for emperor Okay, seven of wands is here twice. Okay, so whatever it is that you're healing, you are learning not to judge yourself, deck three. You are learning not to judge yourself. All right, not to prejudge yourself for others also. Not to adopt the perception of you that others have. Okay, your ancestors are washing that away. They are trying to show you who you are beyond this body and this avatar, none of this even matters. It's literally a car and a vehicle of transportation for your spirit, okay? So that's something that I'm definitely sensing here is to let go of the things that were said about you that are not true. You know, all of these things people say about you are said about you. Again, these things are just coming up. I'm just sensing lots of releasing, letting go of all of that stuff. None of it was even true. None of it was even true. What's the truth of who you are? Know who you are. Nobody can tell you this because if you do not know who you are, then you will just adopt the perception that everyone has of you. And then you will feel like you've let them down. It's just a yarn ball that needs to be unraveled. Okay. And it starts with you. How else can they do that? Deck three. Thank you. <clears throat> deck three. Yeah, you're going through an awakening, deck three. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Yeah, welcome to this awakening. Okay. Yes, none of this matters. The avatar, the body. Okay. It's deeper than this. This is a transformation. You're going deeper. You're going deeper. You are evolving. You're awakening. This is new. It's real. It exists. Right? It's exciting. Let's see what else is happening here. Ancestors healing for deck three. All right. 
confidence i love it yeah solar plexus chakra is the yellow that's all about your confidence um how you feel about yourself what you believe about yourself just being confident to be you just having the courage to be you to explore your perspective explore your philosophy okay yeah go go travel go see things come up with your own philosophy what do you believe life is about Okay, so you're going through an awakening here, attraction, beginning, newness. This is a new, fresh awakening. I like to say deck three carries heavy spiritual vibes. And, I, and actually, this would be the first, this would be a healing reading, which is interesting because I just, I connect with decks differently. And I'm just sensing that this is, it's like a step up time for you. Okay, you, this is a very spiritual group. So to pick this for your healing, it's almost like you're starting this awakening even deeper of getting to know yourself, being, being proud of who you are and understand your age, your gender, your skin, all of these things about, that's just all avatar, even your occupation. That's what your avatar does, but that has nothing to do with who you are. Who are you? Okay, that's what you're awakening to. It's also reminding me of a good book that you can, an audio book you can listen to that can help you on this transformation, The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer, I believe it is. Okay, great book to understanding this newfound discovery. You, deck three, your spirit is perfect. You can do no wrong, okay? So you are making amends with the things that you did because spirit's not even looking at all that. Spirit's like, look, you're here, Spirit operates differently. It's not a logical thing. It's not a, okay, you didn't show up three times. So the fourth time that's logic. Spirit already knows when you're going to be ready for this calling. Okay. So you're manifesting the light. You're manifesting an awakening. You're manifesting confidence. And I also asked your ancestors three things that you can practically do, right? So you can practically start doing to heal some of these things so that you can push forward this transformation because this transformation is bringing you completion, harmony. It's bringing you love. Okay. Love is big acceptance being, um, attracting people who can see you for who you truly are, the beauty that you have. Okay. All of this is stemming from forgiving yourself. Who cares what you said and did in the past? Okay. Who cares what you said and did in the past? Who cares? We're here now. Okay. Deck three. So uh, there's freedom coming for you to release that. Okay. Acceptance. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point to trying to change, which is beyond our control. Okay. Use your time to have fun and enjoy life rather than thinking about what you could have done better. Okay. You're really transitioning into this light being criticizing one another will only lead to unhappiness, love and accept each other as you are. And your relationship will magically transform. So some of you who are in relationships or dealing with relationships, you, the acceptance that you have of yourself is important because if you don't accept yourself, you will attract someone else who wants to change you. Love is unconditional. There's no change that's required. Okay. So let's see what those practical things are. Energy work. You're the only group that I see in all chakras. It's interesting that you guys got this because the blue chakra was standing out to me as well. The throat chakra speaking up. And that's why I said that. But so far you have pretty much every chakra here. So yes, energy work is in your cards. Chakras aligning, clearing energy, understanding who you are, having confidence, knowing who you are, all of this chakras do a really good job at kind of dissecting spirituality in different categories that help you understand it logically. Um, so it's just a method to connect energetically. We have two, two. So it's very important this year. You're going to, you'll probably get into energy work and just releasing and start starting to feel free and good with ease. All right. Um, connecting with earth, lots of nature, connecting with just grounding yourself and, and being, I just see you being so at peace. Peace is really what I'm picking up for you. Okay. And it doesn't matter how other people perceive you. What matters is that you're being true to you because if you're being true to you, 
it could be a projection, okay? And also just being honest with yourself is something that I'm getting, okay? Um, being honest with yourself because you deserve honesty. You, do, you deserve to know the truth and the truth is that you have been forgiven. You are free. There's peace waiting for you. You're going through this transformation. You did go through rock bottom, but you are, you are here, okay? We also have sex, 44. So the reason why sex is important is because it is also connected to the sacral chakra. So that's orange. So creative energy, if you feel creative blockage or you feel like you're not having um, fun, pleasure is very important. So sex is a form of pleasure. Um, eating could be a form of pleasure. Anything that's stimulating to you is going to help you raise your vibration. So sex is very important. It's a, a, it's a part of nature also for you to feel um, the sensory response of feeling good physically. Okay. So all of that is connected and it all makes a difference. So I'm hoping that this brought some light and some healing to you guys. Your ancestors are very, very proud of how far you've come. You are still going through the ring of fire, but I'm definitely sensing that what you have learned is so much more than you could have ever imagined in the span of just this short amount of time. Um, you're breaking ancestral generational things that your parents didn't have the courage to do. So there's many, many things that are connected to this. And I'm hoping that that brought you some light. All right, I'm moving on to the last deck, deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your message from your ancestors regarding your healing. So the question that I asked was, your ancestors, deck number four specifically, what is the energy and what they want you to know, okay? So this is gonna be the common theme for the entire deck. We have serenity, okay? This is embodying the heart chakra, so this is, through love, okay? Your ancestors want you to know that it is through love that you release and you work on your inner work, okay? And this is when you will also know peace for yourself. So through love, releasing and inner work, you will know peace for yourself. Your ancestors also want you to know that you have a gentle view of life and you welcome every step of confidence and also to be brave in the face of fear and have the wisdom to let the universe do its work. So not micromanaging the universe and God and you know, hey, just making sure you got my message, God. <laughs> just making sure we have to remember that source is all knowing, okay? These things are already set in stone. Um, your greatness, your happiness, love and peace and, and, and the timing in which you will get there. But spirit your ancestors want you to know that it's not just you doing the work that you don't have to do the work all yourself that you actually have help okay so you're learning to let go of control you're learning to let go of the wheel and allow spirit to drive okay now if there are fears and and the thing i'm sensing there's fears or blockages from allowing that to happen and that's due to the things that have happened already so if you trusted certain people they let you down you know these type of things that happen in our heart chakra just thinking about certain things that make us want to close it it's like okay you know i'm gonna take a step back or i'm not gonna love as hard or i'm gonna do this and all of that is still closing off your heart chakra so let's see what the other two messages were we have trust your ancestors want you to trust in life and your strengths and understand that each moment guides you to the light that everything on your path is placed there for your growth. So sometimes spirit will throw a wrench in to help us grow. Okay, it actually is to help us grow. And challenges, lessons, and obstacles that we keep attracting for ourselves are actually showing us um, patterns that need to be broken and, and cycles that need to be released. So everything on your path is there to help you grow. So trust that. And then we also have the calm. I breathe, live, and grow the light within me, doing one thing at a time and focusing on the present moment, casting off all your doubts, worries, fears, and let them dissipate and find peace in your being. So deck number four, your ancestors are very, very heavy on peace, peace of the mind. So let's see what your tarot is saying. Eight of cups, making peace with things that you had to walk away from making peace with what has already happened with the eight of cups. This is walking away, making peace with this new life that you're attracting for yourself. 10 of cups. This is beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. 
you are attracting either a life partner or you have attracted a life partner into your life. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups, Ten of Cups. The Hangman. King of Cups. Okay, I'm just going to clarify why that Eight of Cups is there. Why is this Eight of Cups here for Deck 4 for healing messages from ancestors? Eight of Cups. Okay, so I definitely feel like this is something to do with a relationship, okay? This is also having to do with your own destiny, what you love the most. So let's see what your path is leading you towards. The great royal you and the child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. So I definitely feel like spirit and your ancestors use love to connect with you on many occasions. So your relationship, um, your love life is coming up as well. We're gonna get some more messages just to clarify. Thank you. Yeah, manifesting miracles. So you're manifesting a soulmate is what I'm getting. So this could have happened after you walk away from something. Um, it's trusting that the true desired soulmate that you are looking for is coming. Another thing is that your your spirit, your heart is cannot lie about the desires it has. And in this sense, you are and your soul is desiring to have a life partner um, and to have a union with someone in particular. It's creating you to have to walk away from what is not that. Right. So when we start asking for what we want, spirit is going to show us everything that we don't want. And in the midst of that, your ancestors want you to know that you're manifesting miracles, that your dream is soon to become a reality. Whatever this dream is to meet someone, um, to attract this person. Okay. Into your life. I also see that it's coming from you. You are manifesting the greatest version of you, the Royal you, and that's what's attracting the Royal partner. Okay. You have a specific partner that is matching your fly. You have, have a specific partner that is going to match your greatness. However, if you're in a relationship, you could outgrow that person. I see that you can evolve quicker than they are. And what happens is you either have to slow down and devolve and wait for them. And your spirit guides are never happy about waiting for other people because other people have their guides and they have a connection to the universe. So if we are evolving together and your life partner, you will evolve together. Even if one evolves first, the other's right behind. You're evolving together on that same frequency. However, what spirit is saying is be patient. Okay. It is going to take having to walk away from things, but things are in your favor with the, uh, with the wheel of fortune and the rock star at the bottom. Whoever this partner is that is meant for you is very, very particular, just like you. However, you are manifesting them by becoming the royal you. So your ancestors are bringing you together in harmony with someone. Again, it's happening after some type of sorrow, some type of loss, having to change your perspective about a specific person in your life, okay? So your relationships are definitely playing a toll on this. Let's see if there's anything else as far as your healing messages for deck four. Ancestors, thank you. Okay, so you're trusting in this path that you're being guided to, okay, with finding yourself, your true self, your, your greatest version of you. And some of you could have definitely been downplaying how great you are. And sometimes when we do that, spirit will put it back into our vortex. So we have repose, pause, respite, time out. So it's time to take a time out and reflect is what your ancestors are saying in order to seek knowledge, wisdom and searching and learning. There's more for you to learn in your relationships about this specific thing. Uh, whoever you are, you seem to have messages centered around connecting with other people and connecting with your true self. That's what your, what your ancestors want you to know today as far as healing in your relationships, how you grew up, how you seen relationships growing up, what your mom did, what your dad did. You will have a completely different way of your relationships and living your life. So you're creating a new path, breaking generational things, finding yourself, actually loving yourself. 
and then attracting the right partner. So you could have experienced a lot of karmic partners in the past. Um, and these partners, again, if you're attracting that same frequency that tells you, okay, what do I need to learn here? Okay. What am I, why do I keep attracting these type of people, whatever that type may be. Okay. And I, I definitely feel like just trusting a little bit more in, in your direction, in the path that spirit is guiding you, trusting something other than yourself also in that spirit. Okay. So bloom recognition, acknowledgement being seen. So there is a purpose for you. Okay. You are coming up as like a peacock, someone who's really bright, can't miss them. You're meant to shine. You're meant to be a star. And I definitely see that in the past, your relationships could have distracted you from finding the star like quality in you. Okay. Once you become the star, guess what? A star attracts a star. So I definitely see that the life partner, your ancestors are bringing to you. This is a very specific message for you deck four. no other deck got this. So I know that this is for you. Okay. And you're blooming. Okay. So this is a place of repose for you to get through a transformation and find yourself utilize this time and understand that you're a child of the universe. Therefore, settling is not an option, meaning downgrading yourself for another person, dimming your light for another person. Okay. Your partner is going to be so lucky to have you and so supportive of this shine. Okay. This person is not going to try to shade your shine. Okay. We have conflict, discord, disagreement in common ground. We have direction, navigation, guidance, and signs. And we also have ask. So everything that you experience, the conflict and the turmoil, it actually provokes you to asking and coming to spirit. But spirit is saying that you are getting to a place where you can also allow spirit into your life when good things are happening. Okay. So this is just keeping that connection with you and spirit, trusting that you're waiting, you're not even waiting. Okay. Cause while, while you're in this process, you're not waiting. And that's what they're saying. You're not waiting for anyone. You're not the only person you're waiting for is you. Okay. That's the only person and you don't have to wait. You're just becoming, and let's see what your practical messages were, because I definitely feel like the conflict there's directions and signs. And I definitely feel like you're learning how to trust in your instincts more, learning how to trust in your, the universe more. All right. Taking care of yourself is very, very important. So we got three practical things that your ancestors are saying in order for you to help heal some of these things. Again, a lot of the experiences you had seeing love in relationships growing up, you are changing your perspective and understanding that love is divinely guided by the universe. Okay. True love. It's just manifestation and it's happening with the universe. It's, it's that connection that you're like, I don't even know how we met and you can have those with karmic partners. And, and, and that's because spirit will place this in you because you've attracted it so that you can learn whatever you need to learn so that you can get ready to attract what you really want. Hydrate, take care of yourself. Okay. Hydrate, meditate and positive affirmations, taking care of yourself. It says, I love myself, breathe. You are beautiful. You are worthy. You are grateful. And you know, one thing too, is I know we're getting into the spiritual realm and everything with the world, with the affirmations, but how much better would it feel to actually believe these things and not have to memorize them? Cause I get it. Affirmations. We want to change it little by little, but I am beautiful. I am beautiful. If you know something, do you really have to tell yourself? And sure you might remind yourself sometimes when you forget, but what you know, you don't have to constantly go over and repeat. Right. And so that's something I'm seeing too. It says I choose love. Okay. So positive affirmations are good, but what's most important is that you believe these affirmations so that actual things can happen from the benefit of these affirmations. Okay. So why do we do affirmations in the first place? We are affirming the truth. So just know the truth, trust and knowing the truth is trusting and hearing more from yourself, your true self, your authentic spiritual self and higher self. Okay. And the truth is, is that you are love. 
The truth is that you are peace. You are these things. Okay. So hydrate, meditate. Okay. Even when you meditate, it doesn't have to be traditional meditation. You can use specific frequencies behind you. Okay. There's heart chakra on blockages that you can use. And we also have the yellow. Okay. Um, something else I'm getting too is just the crown chakra. So you guys could have resonated with another deck that talks a lot about the crown chakra and just that, that chakra that allows us to connect deeper with spirit. Those frequencies you can play in the background also so that you can start opening up some of those chakras all right so if you guys chose deck number four this is your message from your ancestors regarding healing message and again you are breaking generational patterns in relationships and in what you're believing true love really is so that you can discover true love for yourself and true peace true peace is not you getting everything done so you're at peace true peace isn't okay everything's off of the to-do list i'm at peace can you be at peace with things to do? Because there will always be things to do. So you're learning how to stay calm regardless and not having stipulations as far as when peace can be introduced. Okay. You don't have to do anything for love. You don't have to do anything for peace. All you have to do is be. Okay. So that's what I'm hearing for you, deck number four. If you guys tune into this video, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at the tarot priest. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video per usual. I'm going to start getting some more videos out to you guys. I'm really excited about that. So if you guys want to be a part of the Tarot Tribe, don't forget to subscribe. In the meantime, love and light.